Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. This is Doug and this is Doug Sales. So if this is your first time being here. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Instagram. Uh, my niche is uh, niche, 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 however you say that, uh, is vintage, but I sell a little bit of everything. And so this is what we're doing. I'm showing you what I've thrifted this week. I'm telling you how much I paid for it. I'm telling you how much uh, I got these items for per item you know you want to keep it at a certain number and then i'll show off uh, about nine items that i thrifted that i think will bring in uh some good profit so like i said i got like nine items here a few of them are going to bring in some good profit but the very last one i'm going to show you uh is a high-end men's brand and the item that i found uh, should bring in the biggest profit out of any item that i found so Stick around for that and you're gonna wanna see it. Okay, so I didn't do a ton of thrifting this week because it was month end for February and I was a little in the hole there. So I was kind of like waiting out for the end of the month before I started thrifting again. So uh, I didn't start thrifting until the second day of March or so. And I went to three thrift stores uh, between Thursday and Friday of this past week. And I spent a total of $99.16. I got 19 items and it came out to be about $5.25 per item, which is which is pretty good. So I want to I want to keep it around $5 give or take or lower. So like a couple of thrift haul videos ago, I think I was in the $3.25 range, which was awesome. So I want to keep it in that range. So I did pretty good there. Even though one of the uh, thrift stores that I went to was a little bit more expensive than I remember in the past, but you know we got through it let's get to the items okay the first item i'm gonna show you i, I told you i like vintage so uh these sell pretty well these are just a plain blank vintage fruit of the loom t-shirt from the 1980s and you can see the pocket there the pocket tees are big and how do i know it's from the 80s it's the tag there so you see the tag it's kind of worn out but that is a 1980s fruit of the loom tag and it also has the single stitch sleeve. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but you see the one stitch going across there. That means it's from 1995 or older, but this one is from the eighties. And uh, the, the comps are pretty good for these shirts. If you look them up, I paid $2 and 98 cents for the shirt. So I paid about $3 for the shirt and I expect to get around $25 for this between 20 and 25 dollars so um yeah look out for blank vintage t-shirts all right next is not quite vintage but it's uh arkansas razorback they're a pretty big school they're in the sec they're in power five conference so uh they have a lot of fans and they have a lot of apparel so i found this it's not quite vintage it's from 2004 arkansas razorbacks men's college world series t-shirt from 2004 um, I like picking stuff up that has specific dates on it that reflects back to a certain, you know, a certain era or something like that. Cause there may be somebody that they went to this world series and they had a great time, but maybe they don't have a t-shirt for it. So that they might look for it. So I couldn't really find any comps on eBay for Arkansas Razorbacks college world series apparel, uh, but I did find some, you know, some of the older vintage stuff was going for, you know, $25, $30, I paid $3.98 for this. And another reason I picked it is because it is Champion brand and Champions are very good uh, sports apparel brand. So I like the Champion t-shirts when I do find them if they're in good condition. So I'm hoping to get about $25 to $30 for this t-shirt. Stay tuned for the sales update to see if it actually happens. Okay, here we have a vintage uh, 1990s Russell Athletic full zip hoodie. Now, these are pretty big. You can see the Russell Athletic. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, see the, the made in USA there. Uh, the Some of the newer Russell Athletic tags, like in the early 2000s, I actually have one coming up here in a second. I'm going to show you the difference. Uh, they say made in Mexico, but it's still early 2000s. But this one says made in USA. It's from the 90s. And I did some research on this one. I drilled down to 
blue hoodies specifically and it looks like this one is selling from anywhere between like $35 and I saw one that sold for uh, $50 and the buyer also paid shipping so we're gonna be in that 35 to $50 range and if you know me I like to start high first so I'm gonna go $49.99 plus shipping first and see if we can get it out for that if not you know we'll send uh, we'll send some offers to our watchers and maybe we'll drop the price down we'll, we'll see but we're gonna start out at $49.99 for this so look out for Russell athletic stuff especially this tag right here um, look out for t-shirts hoodies sweatshirts everything uh, with this 90s tag because uh, they bring in some good profit all right next you've heard me talk about this brand since you've been watching my channel if you watched it in the past and it's life is good they are nice trendy comfortable t-shirts they don't bring in a huge profit but I've never not been able to sell a life is good t-shirt I did look up this one specifically on eBay to see if there was any out there uh, with the lawnmower on it saying when the mowing gets tough <laughs> and one sold for about 18 or 19 dollars I believe can't remember um, but so and that was with shipping so looks like it'll bring in about $25 possibly so I'll probably do $19.99 plus shipping on this but yeah life is good look out for those I paid $4.98 for this one that's a little more than I want to pay for it but uh, if I can get $20 out of it then that'll be a decent profit all right so we had the Russell Athletic uh, hoodie from the 90s here's a Russell Athletic crew neck sweatshirt it is also embroidered it's very nice very sturdy um, but this one is from the early 2000s I believe if you look here see I paid five dollars for this by the way and thank you for stapling it through the tag and not like right through the collar you know some people just ruin these shirts they staple like right in the collar or right in the fabric but anyway that's another rant so here's the tag as you can see it looks a lot like the other one but it says made in Mexico so uh, this is probably still vintage but it's probably early 2000s and I did I couldn't find one for Ole Miss specifically but I did look up some comps for something similar and Looks like I might be able to get about 40 bucks for this, hopefully. So I'm going to go $39.99 plus shipping to start this one out. And uh, hopefully that'll bring us some good profit. All right, the next item I'm going to show you is like two. It's, it's two items at once. And I thought they were pretty unique. They're both vintage t-shirts, one from 1997. The other one uh, has a copyright date on it of 1992. Uh, but this one here says um, <clears throat> women in the military. You don't see a lot of these. So I thought it was pretty cool. looks like it's a postage stamp. And it has a bunch of different women on the front. Um, this representing the Army, the Marines, Navy, Air Force, and the Coast Guard. thought it was a cool shirt. I looked it up. There's one other person on eBay trying to sell this one for about $20 plus shipping. So I'm going to sell it try to be in that 25 to 30 dollar range and see if we can get uh that price for this t-shirt and uh hopefully we'll be able to i think we're gonna sit on it for a while though the other one is another t-shirt um like i said this one has a uh copyright date of 1992 on it and this one says vietnam women's memorial project so it's another women in the mil military type shirt but it's for Vietnam. So uh, you got some women there on the front and then you have the back of the shirt. This says Vietnam Women's Memorial. I just thought this was a unique t-shirt. Uh, we'll probably sit on it for a while, but I'm gonna try to sell this one for that $25, $30 dollar range as well. So like $24.99 plus shipping. So hopefully we can get both of those t-shirts out because I think they're pretty cool. All right, the next one I have here, is Peter Millar. So Peter Millar is a high-end men's golfing apparel, golfing attire style clothing brand. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but a lot of golfers like Peter Millar. So there you go. There's a Peter Millar uh, kind of pinkish blue plaid 
button up. Um, it was really nice. It, you see, it still has the dry cleaner tag at the bottom there. So it's in really good condition. There's no stains. There's no holes, no, no tears. And I don't usually buy dress shirts, but if there's a very nice brand out there and it is in perfect condition like this one, and it's only $5. Now look, this look, we have to very carefully remove this from this collar. This is a very high end shirt and they put the damn staple right through the collar. I hate that. It is my biggest pet peeve with thrifting. They will just staple right through the collar and ruin it. Like, I don't know where they could have stapled this. Maybe like here in the seam, something like that. But that frustrates the hell out of me. So when I was reselling before, uh, before I took my hiatus, these shirts used to sell for a lot more. But I did look this up and we're still going to get some good profit for it. Like I said, I paid $5 for the shirt. It looks like it's going to sell for in the $30 to $35 range and I can probably charge shipping with it. Uh, I found one very similar to mine uh, on eBay and I think it sold for a little over $30 and the buyer paid shipping. So still good profit even though they don't sell as for as much as they used to. I just think there's a lot of them out there now. All right, and here is the big money maker for the week. Like I said, I spent $99.16 and this will almost make that back in double uh, if it sells for what I want it to sell for. So this is also Peter Millar. Here, I'll show you the inside there. And there's Peter Millar and it has the crown on it. So they have a crown series uh, for clothes, for clothing. And that stuff is a little bit more expensive than the regular Peter Millar. So look out for the Peter Millar with the crown on it. That's you want, you want to, you want to go for that. Just put it that way. So I paid $7 for this and it is a three X T. So that makes it uh, a little bit more unique and it's going to have a smaller audience, but that's okay. This is a wool, 90% wool, 10% cashmere, full zip vest in absolute perfect condition. I looked this up. I couldn't find a gray one just like this. It sold on eBay, but I did find a brown one. Somebody sold one and it sold for $169.95 and the buyer paid shipping. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start high. <laughs> so I'm going to start a little higher than that actually, because it looks like the, I looked up the original price for this vest and it was in the 400 in 30 to 440 dollar range brand new so very high end very good quality this is in perfect condition i can't really show you look here there you go i had to back up a little bit because this one's so big you know it's a it's a 3xt so hoping i can get this one out for uh in between 150 to 200 dollars and that would make me extremely happy but this is the big find of the week i'm really excited about it all right guys thank you if you're still hanging in there and you watch this video the purpose of doing these videos is just to kind of like show you guys stuff that i thrift we all have different eyes when we go to the thrift store we all have different eyes different things that we look out for so i'm just showing you what my eye is like when i go thrifting and hopefully you can find something that you've never thought of before and you're like oh i've seen that before I'll pick that up. You know, that's what this is about. Networking and just helping each other out. That's all. So thank you for tuning in. I'd like to hear what you like to find at thrift stores, what you're finding, what's working for you. Maybe some of the top brands that you like to find. And, uh, um, cause I'm, I'm always researching and trying to learn something new. So leave me a comment, hit like on the video. If this helped you and if you enjoyed it at all and subscribe, if you're new and come back. All the socials are down in the description. Go follow them if you like. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good week.